Alana. How much time were you in there? What was it like? I wasn't in the player bubble. I was in my own bubble. But the team stayed in um, Las Colinas in Texas for three weeks, and they were in their own respective bubble where certain family members, basically their spouses and their children, were allowed to be in that bubble with them. I was in um, a, a hotel by the ballpark and where the other family was, parents, cousins, all sorts of, of, of folks. Um, and it was, you know, it was, their bubble was a lot more stressful than mine. I mean, they, they had all of their food brought in. They weren't allowed to go anywhere or do anything. Um, you know, they trick-or-treated at their own rooms. I mean, it was very, it was almost like they were in a, in a, in just like a private little resort camp, and they weren't able to do much. I was having conversations with some of the players and their wives afterwards, and they weren't allowed to do anything or go anywhere. And it was, it's a lot. It's a lot. I know people think first, they think money when they think of athletes, but the sacrifices that they had to make um, in order to even have a season this year were really grand sacrifices for any family, you know, to not be able to see your parents even at a, you know, World Series game because you can't go outside of that bubble. And, you know, again, it, it's, it's baseball and it's a sport. It's not life or death, but, you know, for some people, it, it, it was it was a, it was very difficult to to maintain what they were supposed to do with all the bro- protocols for a month, and they did it. There was a time when I didn't even think we were going to play a game, let alone fifty or sixty, rather, and you know get through a postseason. So, kudos to all the players that did what they were supposed to do, and, and kudos to the league for finding a way to make it happen. And what about you? How was your bubble? How did you go through that? I mean, it's got to have stretched you too. Yeah, it was just, you know, I, it just gets old. It's it's the same stuff every single day. And, you know, you're not – what I didn't like was I had no access to the players themselves. So everything was via Zoom. And I, it's just such – it takes so much away from your role as a reporter-player relationship where it's it's so impersonal to do it through a computer. And I'm so used to being with these guys every step of the way on their flights, in the hotels, like, you know, all you're with them more than you're with your own family from the day spring training starts, basically Valentine's Day, to the end of the season for these guys, which is always in October. So you're with them every single day for eight months, and you really get to know them. You get to know their families. You get to know what makes them tick. You can tell when they're having an off day just based on conversations and body language. And, you know, you can have offshoot conversations where you learn a lot more about a player or about – you know, their mechanics or what they're working on. And you can't get that type of stuff when you're allowed two questions on a Zoom. You know, I, they win the World Series, and I get two questions with each guy. And then when I told Clayton, I said, you know, this is tough for me because I only get two questions with you. I've known Clayton for 15 years before I was even with the Dodgers because of my capacity um, in baseball and other, and other areas. So it was just super impersonal. But, again, I – on. I'm just thankful we had a season, and I'm I'm thankful that they were able to, to finally get the job done this year.